Hello, and welcome to the final section of chapter two in section 2.2. This is our day three in section 2.2, and we're gonna look at assessing normality. In other words, how do I know if my data truly is normal or not? Well, what we do is we have a normal probability plot. We gotta learn how to create a normal probability plot on our calculator and learn what that, uh, when you get that picture, what does it mean and how do I use that to assess whether it's normal or not? Okay. Well, that normal probability plot is in an area uh, that we've uh, been before when we made our dot plots, we made our box plots, and we made our histograms. So uh, again, I'll play a video at the end from uh, Schoology uh, with Lena Taro and uh, walk through the steps on the calculator for that. Uh, but again, that video lives in isolation too in Schoology as well, as just as a resource, so you don't have to go back to this presentation. But uh, the key points we want to know about a normal probability plot are the following. We want the points on a normal probability plot to lie close to a straight line. So in other words, when we plot the dots, a straight line follows that data very well, okay? And if that's the case, then the data are normal. Any kind of deviations from the straight line would indicate a non-normal distribution. So in other words, if it doesn't follow us, the dots don't follow a line well, the data is probably not normal. Outliers, outliers in our data would appear as points, as we would suspect, that are far away from the overall pattern of the plot. So let's go play that video and then we'll come back uh, to and finish up section 2.2. Okay. So in Schoology under the calculator videos, it's video number six on normal probability plots. Hello, I'm Lena Taro. Let's take a look at how to do a normal probability plot on the TI Inspire. To begin, we'll create a new document. So let's hit Control N, and we don't need to save what we have here. So I'll hit Enter on that. And we're gonna enter data that's found in Chapter 2, Section 2 of the Practice of Statistics. This is the unemployment in all 50 states data set. So let's add a list and spreadsheet, option four, and we'll go to the top and we're gonna call this list unemploy. And then we'll go down with the arrow keys and start typing in the data that's found in our book. Now that the data is entered, we're ready to create our normal probability plot. To begin, hit control I to insert a new page and we're going to insert a data and statistics page, so choose option 5. Then move your cursor to the bottom of your screen and click and select the unemployed data set. This creates a dot plot. Then move your cursor and click in the center of the screen, hit control menu, and choose normal probability plot. We can see that this is a fairly linear display and that would indicate that this data set is approximately normal. All right. And what we can do is kind of sum up the whole section here. And before my battery goes dead, obviously there with that warning. And uh, what we should be able to do uh, from that first, uh, that first lesson on day one is talk about the relative locations of median and mean and how the mean uh, is affected by uh, skewness. Now, let's remember that mean is pulled towards the tail because somebody is mean pulling that tail and the mean would be pulled away from the median in that direction. You should be able to find areas in a normal distribution. Uh, so either using uh, the z-scores paired up with uh, uh, table A uh, or being able to use it on the on the calculator. Okay. We should 
be able to find the proportion uh, of z values in a standard normal distribution. And again, that's normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Uh, so there isn't any standardizing you need to do with a z-score. It's just looking, basically looking up table A or in the technology, not changing uh, the mean and the standard deviation. Should be able to do it for any normal distribution. And that's again where you would use your z-score to uh, standardize uh, uh, numbers, uh, mean and standard deviation, and the individual values you're looking at. Uh, so you can use table A, um, or don't even worry about it, and just use the technology. Um, just make sure to change uh, the mean and the standard deviation to the appropriate ones in the problems. All right. And then the last piece was from day three, where we wanted to determine whether distribution is approximately normal or not. Uh, and that's using the normal probability plot. All right, well, at this point, you should be able to do the last, uh, the last lesson of problems, 2.2 in assessing normality. And those are 54, 63, 65, 67, 66, 67, 69 through 74. Good luck, and make sure you're doing these problems with integrity. All right, guys, good luck in your Chapter 2 test, and we'll see you in Chapter 3.